Hi there, and welcome to another informative video from Wondershare Dr. Found. Francisco is here to discuss how to deal with iPhone 13 white screen issue in today's video. So you will also learn what causes this issue and how to prevent it in the future. In today's video, we're going to be showing you four effective ways to fix your iPhone 13 when it's stuck on the dreaded white screen. But before moving to our main topic of the iPhone 13 Pro Max white screen, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. So with that, let's move to our main subject, without further ado. Part 1. What causes widescreen of death issue on iPhone 13? So before we dive into the four effective methods to fix the widescreen issue on your iPhone 13, it's important to understand what causes this frustrating problem in the first place. So let's go ahead and explore the possible reasons behind the iPhone 13 Pro Max widescreen problem. So the first one could just be software crashes. A software crash or conflict can lead to the widescreen of death. It could occur due to various reasons. These include an incompatible app, a recent software update, or even a problem with the operating system itself. Firmware issues. Problems with the iPhone's firmware can also cause the widescreen problem. It can happen if the firmware becomes corrupted or there are errors during the software update process. Hardware problems. So while less common, hardware issues can contribute to the widescreen of death. It would be related to a faulty display, loose connections, or other internal components. Overheating. Excessive heat can sometimes trigger the white screen issue. If the iPhone gets too hot, it may shut down or display a white screen as a protective measure. Jailbreaking or unauthorized modifications. If the iPhone has been jailbroken or modified with unauthorized software, it can cause instability. That instability leads to an iPhone 13 Pro white screen. Part 2. How to fix iPhone 13 white screen of death issue. So now that you have understood why the issue of the white screen on iPhone 13 is caused, the next part is going to be to resolve this issue. If you're encountering this frustrating issue on your iPhone 13, then just don't worry. This problem, where the screen remains completely white and unresponsive, can be resolved with just a few troubleshooting methods. We will be going through the four reliable and trusted methods to resolve this issue. Method number one is going to be through screen zoom. So sometimes adjusting the screen zoom settings can help fix the white screen of the iPhone 13 or 13 Pro Max. So the screen zoom in is going going to be one of the most common reasons to find behind the white screen of death. The reason is that the screen is zoomed to the extent that you are only able to see a white screen. Here's how you can disable screen zoom on your iPhone 13. Just navigate to your iPhone 13 settings app and open it. Now find and select accessibility from the available options. Now in the accessibility tab, just press zoom and on the following screen, toggle off zoom. Afterward, check if the iPhone 13 Pro Max white screen issue has been resolved. Method number two, hard reset your iPhone 13. So if you're still encountering the iPhone 13 white screen of death issue after trying basic troubleshooting steps, then a hard reset can often help resolve software related problems. A hard reset, also known as a force restart, can force your iPhone to restart and potentially fix the unresponsive white screen issue. Following are going to be the steps to perform a hard reset on your iPhone 13. Press and quickly release the volume up button. Afterward, firmly press and let go of the volume down button. And then once you do that, just go ahead and hold the side button. Release the side button once you see the Apple logo after restarting your phone. And then that should be able to take you to where you need to be. Method number three, using Wondershare Dr. Phone to fix iPhone 13 widescreen of death. So are you worried about data loss when trying an iPhone 13 widescreen fix? You no longer have to worry about that as it presents to you a powerful iOS system repair tool, Wondershare Dr. Phone. This powerful tool has the ability to resolve over 150 iOS issues without affecting your data. Moreover, the tool contains, or supports I should say, all iOS versions for iOS system repair. Aside from providing system repair solutions, this tool can also provide many solutions for many other features. One of these features is the ability to upgrade or downgrade your iOS OS version without jailbreaking. Here's a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to use Wondershare Dr. Phone to fix the iPhone 13 black and white screen issues. So launch Dr. Phone on your computer and navigate to the toolbox section to select the system repair option. 
Now connect your iPhone 13 to the computer using M5 certified or original cable. After connecting your iPhone 13 to Wondershare Doctor Phone, click on the iPhone option. Then click on iOS repair and select standard repair as the repair mode. Follow the on-screen instructions to enable recovery mode on your iPhone 13. With your iPhone 13 in recovery mode, Dr. Phone will just automatically detect your device and present you with a list of available firmware options. So just click the download button to download suitable firmware. Once the download is complete, Wondershare Dr. Phone will proceed to install the firmware on your iPhone 13 from there. So after the firmware is finally downloaded and installed, go ahead and click on Repair Now to initiate the process of fixing the white screen of death issue for the iPhone 13. Dr. Phone will begin repairing the iOS system and resolving the problem. Make sure not to disconnect your iPhone during this procedure. Method number four using iTunes or macOS Finder. You can also try using iTunes on Windows or macOS Finder on Mac as a potential solution. iTunes and macOS Finder can be used to restore your iPhone software, which may help resolve the iPhone 13 widescreen problem. So before proceeding, it is important to note that using this method may result in data loss. Therefore, it is crucial to have a recent backup of your iPhone to ensure your data is safe. Now let's dive into the process of using iTunes slash Finder to fix the iPhone 13 stuck on widescreen issue. So start by connecting your turned off iPhone 13 to your computer using a USB cable. Ensure that iTunes or Finder is installed and up to date on your computer. Now launch the iTunes or Finder and then put your iPhone into recovery mode. To put your iPhone 13 into recovery mode, you first need to press and release the volume up, then the volume down, and then keep the sleep-wake button held for a long time after until the Apple logo is shown. Afterward, just long press it until you see that it has entered recovery mode. At this point, you will receive a prompt on iTunes or Finder about detecting a device in recovery mode. It will present you with two options, update or restore the iPhone. Choose Restore and follow the on-screen instructions to restore your iPhone from there. So here are going to be three tips to avoid getting your iPhone 13 to be stuck on the white screen. So we have discussed the white screen issue on your iPhone 13 and explored effective methods to be able to fix it. But wouldn't it be better if you could just prevent the problem to begin with? So with that said, today we're going to be sharing three valuable tips to help you avoid iPhone 13 white screen problems. First would be to just keep your iOS device up to date. Regularly updating your iPhone's operating system is crucial for maintaining its stability and security. Apple constantly releases new iOS updates that addresses various bugs and glitches, including those that could lead to a white screen. So make it a habit to check for updates and install them promptly. Be cautious with third-party apps. While the App Store offers a vast selection of amazing apps and the vast majority of them are going to be very secure too, it's important to exercise caution when downloading and installing third-party applications. Some apps might not be fully optimized for your iPhone 13's operating system or could contain bugs that may trigger the white screen issue. Number three, protect your iPhone 13 from physical damage. Physical damage can cause a variety of issues, including the white screen problem. To minimize the risk, invest in a sturdy protective case and a tempered glass protector for your phone. Now, these simple accessories can shield your device from accidental drops, bumps, and scratches, reducing the chances of hardware-related problems. And with that, we conclude today's video. So thank you so much for watching the video all the way up until the very end, and we are hopeful that this will help you in resolving iPhone 13 Pro widescreen issue. To show your appreciation, do make sure to give us a thumbs up and let us know what you think about the video in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive updates about future videos. Now, until next time, have a good one.